Pope Agapetus I died the 22nd of April 536 was pope from the 13th of May 535 to his death in 536. He is not to be confused with another Saint Agapetus, an early Christian martyr with the feast day of the 6th of August. Topic: <laughs> Family. Topic: Agapetus was born in Rome, although his exact date of birth is unknown. He was the son of Gordianus, a Roman priest who had been slain during the riots in the days of Pope Symmachus term 498 The name of his father might point to a familial relation with two other popes, Felix III 483 and Gregory I 590 Gregory was a descendant of Felix. Gregory's father, Gordianus, held the position of Regenarius in the Roman Church. Nothing further is known about the position. Biography Geoffrey Richards describes him as the last survivor of the Simachan Old Guard, having been ordained as a deacon perhaps as early as 502, during the Laurentian Schism. He was elevated from archdeacon to pope in 535. His first official act was to burn, in the presence of the assembled clergy, the anathema which Boniface II had pronounced against the latter's deceased rival Dioscurus on a false charge of simony and had ordered to be preserved in the Roman archives. Agapetus assisted Cassiodorus in the founding of his monastery at Vivarium. He confirmed the decrees of the Council of Carthage, after the retaking of North Africa from the Vandals, according to which converts from Arianism were declared ineligible to holy orders and those already ordained were merely admitted to lay communion. He accepted an appeal from Contumeliosus, Bishop of Rees, whom a council at Marseille had condemned for immorality, and he ordered Caesarius of Arles to grant the accused a new trial before papal delegates. Meanwhile, the Byzantine general Belisarius was preparing for an invasion of Italy. King Theodahad of the Ostrogoths begged Agapetus to proceed on an embassy to Constantinople and use his personal influence to appease Emperor Justinian I following the death of Amalasuntha. To defray the costs of the embassy, Agapetus pledged the sacred vessels of the Church of Rome. He set out in mid-winter with five bishops and a large retinue. In February 536, he appeared in the capital of the East. Justinian declined to call a halt to the planned invasion as preparations were far too advanced. Agapetus immediately turned his attention from the political matter Theodahad had sent him to address to a religious one. The occupant of the Byzantine Patriarchal See was Anthemus I, who had left his Episcopal See of Trebizond. Against the protests of the Orthodox, the Empress Theodora finally seated Anthemus in the Patriarchal Chair. When Agapetus arrived members of the clergy entered charges against Anthemus as an intruder and a heretic. Agapetus ordered him to make a written profession of faith and to return to his forsaken see. Upon Anthemus' refusal, Agapetus deposed him. The emperor threatened Agapetus with banishment. Agapetus is said to have replied, With eager longing have I come to gaze upon the most Christian emperor Justinian. In his place I find a Diocletian, whose threats, however, terrify me not. Agapetus, for the first time in the history of the Church, personally consecrated Anthemus. Legally elected successor, Menas. Justinian delivered to the Pope a written confession of faith, which the latter accepted with the proviso that, although he could not admit in a layman the right of teaching religion, yet he observed with pleasure that the zeal of the emperor was in perfect accord with the decisions of the fathers. Four of Agapetus' letters have survived. Two are addressed to Justinian in reply to a letter from the emperor, in the latter of which Agapetus refuses to acknowledge the orders of the Arians. A third is addressed to the bishops of Africa, on the same subject. The fourth is a response to Reparatus, bishop of Carthage, who had sent him congratulations upon his elevation to the pontificate. Shortly afterwards, Agapetus fell ill and died on of April 536, after a reign of just ten months. His remains were brought in a lead coffin to Rome and deposited in St. Peter's Basilica. On the Clivus Scari the archaeological remains known as the Apsidal Hall of the Library of Pope Agapetus I is located near the ancient church of St. Andrew on the Caelian Hill. Veneration Agapetus I has been canonized by both the Catholic and Orthodox traditions. 
His memory is kept on 20 September in the Catholic Church. The Eastern Churches commemorate him on of April, the day of his death. See also Topic List of Catholic Saints List of Popes Topic References Topic Topic Bibliography Topic Dudden, Frederick H. 1905, Gregory the Great, London, Longmans, Green, and Co. Louise Ropes Loomis, The Book of Popes Liber Pontificalis. Merchantville, New Jersey, Evolution Publishing. ISBN 1-889758-86-8 Reprint of the 1916 edition. English translation with scholarly footnotes, and illustrations. Martindale, John R., Jones, A. H. M., Morris, John 1992, The Prosopography of the Later Roman Empire, Vol. 3, A.D. 527–641, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 0-521-20160-8 Friedrich Wilhelm Botz 1975, A.G.A.P.E.T.I. In Botz, Friedrich Wilhelm. Biographisch Bibliographisches Kirchenlexikon BBKL in German, 1. Ham, Botz, Call. 52. ISBN 3-88309-013-1. Pope St. Agapetus I CE External links Agapetus I in the Ecumenical Lexicon of Saints 57. Popes of the Catholic Church.